Well, hello, guys and gals. It's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another edition of Construction Simulator. And today we are here at the Vehicles Dealer. Why? Because we're buying a new play toy. Well, I've actually already purchased it. Today we are going to get taught how to drive it, and it is the Crawler Crane. So we're going to do the tutorial today on how to assemble it, how to get it all working. So we're going to come over here and our trusty job foreman is here with some toys and we're going to talk to him and learn what we need to learn. Hi, Mr. Moose. Today I'll show you how to handle the LR 1300 crawler crane, but first you should familiarize yourself with a special transport trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know how to drive that thing. Anyways, he's going to tell us that we need to uh, take that thing on a test drive. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's get into the low boy. Here we go, in the low boy. All right, oh, man, we're losing money while doing this. Dude, you're costing me time and money. All right, so we got to get that low boy in front of this trailer here. Ooh. Oops, back her up. I forget, I got the split pedal thing on this deal. So I got to back up with the brake. Oh, hello, squirrely little truck. You sure do handle good until you get up to the trailer and then you want to slide. See what I mean? It was like turning all over the place until it gets to the trailer. And then it just wants to slide around. All right, so we are connected. All right, take a test drive. Uh, the vehicle around the dealers, place it in... Fill the steering part between the pylons in order to complete. All right. You should be able to do this. Come on. We've driven this trailer plenty of times. Trailer. All right. Come on. Swing out. Swing out. There we go. All right. We'll come up here. Swing our trailer around these pylons. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. I know we're not running for speed here. But I want to get you done because I want to play with the crawler crane. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go the other way, trailer. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way. Get around the red barrel. There you go. All right. Now we should be able to get through these barrels here. Oh, yeah. Tiki tiki tiki, swing that out to the right. Yep, 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 yep. All right, good to go there, good to go there. Good to go so far. All right, and then we got to park in here between these pylons. So make that trailer swing on around. It didn't say back it in, so I just assume we just drive straight on in here with it. Ding. All right, are we there? Aha ha! All right, cool. Leave that there. Uh, let's see. Click the button. Click the button again. Come on over here. Let's run over this side here. Hey, boss. Uh, he's not my boss. What am I talking about? I own the company. All right. Uh, he said go to the pylon. So here, I'm in the marked area. There we go. Now we can get bound to business. We can assemble the LR 1300 crawler crane. As I said, the crane will be delivered in parts and assembled on site. For this, two parts of the undercarriage and the cab must be delivered. Right. All right. So blah, blah, blah. We need the mobile crane. Yep. Exactly. The parts will be stored on premise. Uh, for the purpose of the tutorial, I had the crane parts delivered already. All you have to do is install them in the right place with the mobile crane. Okay, understood. Let's continue. Uh, how do I pick the right place? You can decide where you want to build it. Due to the size and enormous weight of the LR1300, enough space and solid ground should be present. If you have found a suitable location, choose the crawler crane in the top left corner of the list of cars. If the location is suitable, the crane parts can be supplied and installed. Why don't you try it in the marked area? All right, we'll try that. So we need to stand in the marked area. And if this is a suitable spot, we come over here to the menu. We select a crawler crane. Do you want to start building the crawler crane at this point? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, there we go. 
there's our little uh, silhouette. That's where we're going to put it. we got to get in the mobile crane. Put out our outriggers. There we go. Now, I played with the mobile crane before multiplayer with uh, Alex, but I've never actually done any of this stuff. So this is all new to me. All right, so we raise up this guy. And we'll start letting out some cable and booming up. So we can reach out there and grab that crawler crane assembly. So the first thing we got to get is the cab. And we'll reach out and grab it. This will give us more versatility. And it will also give us some more jobs that we didn't have access to before. All right, so there's our crawler crane. We're hooked up on it. We need to fly it over here. Rotate it around a little bit. Let's see. Come on, rotate. Rotate. I need to switch those rotations up. I come backwards. Rotate around. Rotate around. Rotate around. Rotating some more. Rotated. All right. Let's bring that on down some. We're in the ballpark. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on down and release. Next thing we do is pick up the tracks and put them in place. I don't really know how these orient, so I'm assuming they're laid out the way they need to go. And so we'll just rotate them like the far one is the one side and the other one is the other side, I'm assuming. My two. Where am I at with this? There we go. All right. So pick up. Bring her over. And we're wanting to go in where the red is. I'm assuming this was the one for the red. So we probably have to rotate it around. So let's spin her around like so. Mm, you know, more I look at it, I'm thinking, I don't know. I think the more that I look at it, all the stuff that was on the other side would be to the inside. Nope, I have it right. There we go. There we go. And we'll pick up the other track and bring it over. Just got to reach out there and grab it. Here we go. Lift. And we bring this one over. Might as well start rotating it. Because we know now that the... little step looking things go to the inside rotate that around a little more come on in and yate there we go Clear the construction area of the mobile crane. I will do that. Nice. We're going to have a big crawler crane. Uh, okay, job account. Apparently, I finished it. Wrap. Now the crane stands tall. All right. So I think we finished something. I'm excited. Works like clockwork. Now the crawler crane is ready. Hop up and make yourself familiar with the functionality of it. I can do that. All right. So now we go over to the crawler crane. All right. So we're in the crawler crane. 
All right, access help menu to see the functions of the crawler crane. I pretty much know all the functions. All right, so drive the crawler crane into the marked area. All right, we can do that. Just going to drive it like we're driving any other vehicle. Except this thing is enormous. Oh, uh, let's look from the top. Oh, oh, look, the pooms are inter uh, intersecting each other. Dude really didn't tell me to get the other boom out of the way. Let's uh, take this boom down some. There we go. Our job foreman slacks at his job a bit because he should have told me to take the uh, the mobile crane all the way down but he didn't all right change the function to the lift uh, we'll do and there's some barrels in front all right well let's get all the way into the pylons that we're supposed to there we go now oh you can raise and lower the main jib place look perfectly over the objects you see some barrels i don't see some barrels where are these oh there they are all right so uh we pretty much are going to have to use the hook mode on this because uh, we're not going to be able to see those barrels from here oh wait all right, so he wants us to get the barrels, right? Let's see where we're at here. Uh, get one large generator from the vehicle dealer and transport the cargo to the destination. The scaffolding steel to the destination. Okay, so I guess we're picking these up and we're putting them somewhere else. So let's go ahead and get our hook coming down. And using it, we can look. So basically, I think we pick up the, the scaffolding and the generator, and we put them over there in the barrels. So well, that's going to be the deal. All right, so for my controls, I've got the jib set up to my to my twist on my on my right joystick. and the, So that way I can make the jib go in and out. And I can lower the hook down. And again, you... We could try to do this from the cab view, but it's, man, it's really hard. If you don't have a spotter, it's really, really hard to do that. So as you can see, I can, I can do this part of it. I can go ahead and rotate around, but I can't even see the barrels over there. So you're going to have to use the hook cam quite a bit with this one. Um, so yeah, without a spotter, hook cam is your friend. All right. So if you got the boom, which is the lower section, then you got the jib, which is the upper section for doing this. All right. There we go. That one is done. So let's see what other... All right, so here's our tower cam. And as you can see, if I if I pull back on my main joystick, it raises the boom, which is the lower arm. If I push forward on it, it's, it's lower in that lower arm down. All right. And then the jib is the top section. If I twist my joystick to the right, it brings it forward. If I twist it to the left... It's taking it out. It's making my hook swing everywhere. All right. And then my right joystick back brings up my hook. And my right joystick left and right twist the cab. All right. So we bring over here. And just watching the whole thing in operation, we'll get over here and grab that generator. And I'll go ahead and boom out a little bit need to change those controls a little bit because they don't make sense hang on let's let's get in here and under controls options 
and we'll go to input devices. We'll go to uh, key assignments. That's what we want. We're going to come way down here to crawler crane. Uh, let's see. Where is the crawler crane at? Crawler crane. And I want to lower the jib. I've got these backwards. I don't really like them. So trigger right, trigger left. I want to reverse these. So I want... And these show up really funny. If you twist to the left, it shows trigger right. And if you twist to the the right, it shows trigger left. But anyways, I want to twist left. So I, when I'm twisting to the right, it shows that I use the left button. I want to twist to the left, it shows I use the right button. So I want it when I twist to the right, it's lowering it. And when I twist to the left, it's bringing it back to me. So that's what I'm closing it. So again, if twist to the right lowers, twist to the left raises. That makes more sense to me. It's the way I've got like the concrete pump and all that other stuff set up as well. So if I lower that and raise my hook a little bit, there we go. I should be right over it and able to connect. There we go. Lift it up. Bring my jib back a little bit. That'll also lift it. Rotate to the left. That'll take her around. Move our camera so we can see what we're doing here. Yeah, sort of like watching the whole crane thing go. And then we can jib down. Oops, don't jib down too much. Now we can winch down and lower the generator where it needs to go. Drop that into place. Oh yeah. All right. Taken care of. It's a different caliber of crane. Yeah. All right. I'll clean the rest up. All right. Cool. So place the crane back on the premises using the fleet menu all right so i guess what he means is i can come in here i go to company and i can go into motor pool and i can put everything back where it needs to go so i'm going to put low boy 2 back on premise i did purchase another low boy and i also picked up another flatbed so I'll be able to put the tracks and then the mobile crane needs to go back to the shop and the crawler crane needs to go back as well. So where is the crawler crane listed? Crawler crane. Put that back. Yep. Return the company's premise. On-site premises. Premises. All right, close. And that's that. So, everything is done. Wait a minute. There we go. Nice. All right. So, that is taken care of, except it did not reset the low boy back to the premise. Let's get that done. Company, company, motor pool. Reset, yes. Reset, yes. Uh, that's what it was. It wasn't Low Boy 2, it was Low Boy 1. Um, and uh, we need Low Boy 2 moved. Uh, Low Boy 1 needs reset. Close, and then I need to go back to the, uh, to the city. Oh yeah, now we're here. All right, so we are back here. And the big thing we need to do now is we need to load the crawler crane up and get it on the trailers. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring the mobile crane up here, grab some low boys, because we're getting ready to take a job and we're going to have to move everything. So we might as well get everything situated so that when we take the job, we can actually uh, do it. What job am I going to take, you ask? Well, I'll show you. Let's jump into the menu system. We'll go to jobs. I'll show you the jobs that are available. Special jobs. 
we now have the wind turbine job so that's what we're going to do next and then the new bridge job is now available because we have the crawler crane under contracts now that we have the crawler crane we probably have some whole new options available but the biggest thing is is i want to do that windmill job so we'll take that one too kind of excited about that one been wanting to do that job for a while now so let's get over here back under this thing get a trailer hooked up and we'll start getting all this loaded up oops there we go come on there we go connect that up and we will take this thing up to our uh, crawler crane there we'll get the I wonder if my other crane would reach all the way up there. It doesn't look like it. So let's get this guy in place right here. Come on, get on up the hill. These trailers do not like that incline. All right, so we'll put this right here and we'll park, get out. That's one. Let's go get the other one. And then we'll get those loaded up. I know you get to see the you get to see everything that it takes to get these loaded up versus what I normally do where I just go ahead and have everything done for you. I thought some of you guys might be interested because you might not have ever done the crawler crane thing and uh, y'all might find that part interesting of everything that it takes to actually do this. It's quite detailed as far as getting stuff moved around it's gonna be kind of nice doing the windmill job because it'll incorporate everything it'll incorporate the crawler crane uh, we'll have to take the the drilling rig over we've got to drill some foundations for it uh, there's quite a bit involved in that one so it's going to be a a good experience for us it's going to tie up several episodes, so hope you guys are in for that. I could do it as a live stream one evening, but I tend to keep the live streams for the other stuff, farm sim, things like that. All right, thing. Get up here. Oh, yeah. You know, the neighbors are like, wow, that company's really come a long ways. All right, jump. I can take the quick way to do this. I always forget that I can just like select a piece and jump into it. Yeah, if that big flat top crane were sitting over here instead of way over there. I could just use the flat top crane to pick everything up and move it. Mm, all right, up here we go with the mobile crane. The mobile crane over here. Pull it back over here a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and put everything out, stabilize it. Get our legs down. All right, into the back we go. Lift her up. And start getting everything out.
All right, see where our hook's at. There she is. Get that lowered on down. So we will. All right, see how far more we got to go. Man, we got a quite a bit to go. All right, so we're not going to get there with just the reach. I'm going to have to boom down a little bit to get to it. There we go. Lift our load, bring it over here. Get that on the trailer first. It's looking pretty good. Switch to my hook so I can see how my load looks as far as orientation goes. Uh, let's scroll back a little bit. Probably come down with the boom a little bit. And actually, I probably need to come up on it and come right. I mean, come left a little bit, get it further up here on the trailer so we get better load distribution. Come on down with her. Looks as far straight, pretty good. Yeah, I think that's good. We'll drop the load there. And then we will come over here and grab our tracks. We'll put the tracks on the inside one. Yeah, it could be straightened a little bit, but I'm not going to sweat it. All right, so come over a little bit to the right. Come down and up. So we put that. Hit that little ball. Come on, ball. There we go. Pick that one up. And we'll set this one on to the trailer. I want to come a little bit left and back with the, the boom. There we go. And a little more back with our boom. That's about right. Bring that down. Come on, straighten up. There we go. All right, disconnect that one. We'll get the other one on. And we will have everything loaded up on here. Just gonna reach out here and grab this last track and yeah yep 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 come on down there we go put these both on the trailer I'm assuming this is the correct orientation for them and so that way when we take them off we'll know which ones go on which sides of the, the trailer on which sides of the the uh, cab and this will be the one time we have to do this process because from now on they'll all be sitting on the trailer or they should be I want to keep it that way
All right, bring those down. That should be pretty good. Set that on there. All right. And so that is loaded and ready to go. Strap those down and everything will be good. We'll just pack our mobile crane up and we'll be ready to take our next job. Now, the one thing I have to be careful of is not to set my worker off working until I have the mobile crane set up. Because in order to do this, this is one of the tricks you have to learn on this. In order to set the crane, you have to have, in order to do a job, you have to have a foreman, right? So, um, for me to do this job, uh, to take the windmill job, I have to have a foreman to take that job. But in order to set the mobile crane up, I got to have another foreman to be able to do the mobile crane job. So you have to have two foremen just for that. So I can't have my foreman over on another job site with my employee working another job. So I really can't take another job until I get the mobile crane over on the other side and uh, set up. So that is one trick you have to be aware of. All right, so with all that done, we are good to go. And now it's just a process of transporting everything over to the other site. We wrap that up, chain that up. Come over here and chain this load up. There we go. And we are good to go. So now we can go ahead and take that job, which is going to be under special jobs, windmill, and we look, it's 24 tasks. Talk to the foreman, compress the marked area on the construction site, drill the marked area. Uh, let's see, pour concrete, pour some more concrete, get the wind turbine element from the steel mill and place it in the correct position on the construction site. Um, let's see, get one times two wind turbine elements from the steel mill. Uh, get one times three turbine elements. Get some more turbine elements. Gearbox, turbine elements, wind turbine. Yeah, so you can see we got a lot of stuff that we got to pick up at the um, at the steel mill and place it in place. And then, um, yeah, excavate an area, pour some more concrete, transport from the steel mill something else. Talk to the foreman. So quite a bit that we have to do um, before we can actually haul it over there. Though we've got to uh, we've got to do a little bit of drilling uh, or a little bit of uh, excavating and all that other stuff. But first thing I'm going to do is haul the haul the uh, the big rig over there. So let's take the job and we'll start moving some things around and getting things over and delivered. So uh, at this point, I'm going to disconnect from here and start delivering stuff to the site. And why don't I do that? And uh, instead of having to make you watch that, what I'll do is I'll just take everything over to the job site, get it dropped off. So I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the compressor uh, I'll put the compressor on the low boy or on the uh, on the low boy and take it over. Then I'll come over here and grab the uh, the gooseneck and the drilling platform. I'll haul that over. I'll haul both of these over and then get the mobile crane over there and we should be good to go at that point. Um, so we can we'll have everything on site. I'll get all that moved. And we'll come back and do that in a video. You don't want to watch me drive all that stuff over there because it's quite it's it's pretty decent little distance over to where we're gonna do the job. It's just south of the um it's south of where the steel mill is. So um we'll do that in the next uh, episode. So, anyways, hope you guys found that a little bit interesting. And um yeah, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and like it. Uh, maybe consider sharing it with your friends. 
And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I do new videos each and every day. And if you haven't followed me on Google+, Plus, please do that as well. I'm trying to get to a 1,000 followers, and your help would be greatly appreciated. All right, guys. So, again, we'll come back, and we'll have everything over on the construction site, and we will get started in our next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.